This is a man on a mission in search of a concealed threat. We could be looking at a potential climate disaster here. We just don't know. It's hidden, invisible, unmeasured. What Tim Porcy from the University of Melbourne is looking for can't be seen by the naked eye or by an ordinary camera. But this is no ordinary camera. This is a sophisticated infrared camera, military grade, that's specially designed to be able to see invisible gases like methane. The way that it does that is it's actually got a device inside that can cool down the inside of the, the camera to minus 200 degrees. Methane is a powerful greenhouse gas, up to 80 times more powerful than the carbon dioxide, causing most concern about climate change. Gas is touted as a transition fuel, the cleaner bridge from coal-fired power to renewables. But is it? Well, it depends, and that's really interesting. If you release enough of the gas, the methane that's in that gas, into the atmosphere, then gas can be dirtier than coal. Worse than coal? Absolutely. If you emit more than about 3% of it, then gas actually is worse than coal if you're making electricity. And so then Tim Forsey knows the business, a chemical engineer who spent 35 years in the oil and gas industry. Yeah, so we're following uh, a pipeline now, and of course this road's been constructed to uh, give access to all the, the infrastructure that's been brought in for the gas facilities. I joined him in the coal seam gas fields outside of Chinchilla, about 300 kilometres northwest of Brisbane, on the hunt for methane emissions. Yeah, we're right at the top of a ridge here, and they've designed this so that they vent off the methane gas from the water that's uh, flowing through in the pipeline, and we can actually hear it. But not see it until the camera reveals all. Then you flop it over to the infrared. And there you see the invisible gas now made visible. Wow. You can see the gas clearly with this infrared camera. There's a big plume. The regulations for uh, venting gas like this in Queensland, they actually read and say that uh, the operators aren't meant to vent any gas unless they have to. If it is the case that there are a whole lot of greenhouse gas emissions not currently being measured, it raises big questions about Australia's ability to meet even the modest targets it signed up to at the Paris Accord, let alone far more ambitious goals likely to come. Four years ago, a team of scientists from Southern Cross University toured the Queensland gas fields, conducting the first independent research on methane levels. Their finding? Elevated concentrations of of methane within the gas fields. Concentrations of methane outside the gas fields uh, were about uh, 1.7 parts per billion. When we were looking inside the gas fields, we found spikes up to 6.5 parts per billion. In the United States, studies have found alarming levels of methane emissions from coal seam gas development. If we see what's going on over in the United States where there's been some serious research, some serious effort to measure methane emissions from unconventional gas production, we're talking about figures such as 4%, 7%, even up to 30% in some cases. Despite enormous and expanding coal seam gas development, there's a paucity of official data in Australia. So far, the CSIRO has only published information on methane emissions from coal seam gas wellheads not pipelines and seams. Gas companies are funding its latest research through the Gas Industry Social and Research Alliance, or Gazira, into what it calls naturally occurring emissions. In order to be able to uh, extract the signal of emissions from the coal seam gas industry in such a complex environment, we need to be able to take away all of the other sources of methane emissions to the atmosphere. Some say the horse has bolted. What you really need to do is get into those areas before you start development uh, and before you start altering that hydrology and the geology of an area. This boiling river has sparked huge debate. When it erupted a few years ago, industry claimed it was naturally occurring but many locals say they'd never seen anything like it before coal seam gas mining. The state government study was inconclusive. Pop, pop, pop. Methane gas being released into the atmosphere. Even though the gas company is siphoning gas out of the river. With the infrared camera, we can see the methane that's coming out of this vent stack. 
Tim Forsey suspects this is an example of migratory emissions from gas development, which can travel far and wide. If you're fortunate, the gas ends up coming into your well that you've drilled. But what's to stop it from going off and just bubbling up out of the earth elsewhere? He and his colleagues have just published a paper commissioned by the Australia Institute that says migratory emissions are likely to increase with coal seam gas development posing a climate risk. What we're looking at here is one of the buckets that the gas company put at the bottom of the river to try to capture some of that gas that was bubbling in the river. From this bucket, it comes off these pipelines and it's either being vented out this stack or going into these flares. The one-time gas industry insider says development should stop until there's further study about whether gas is really so clean and green.